Something we've never talked about because I'm just not like it. I was a fan when I was a kid, but I I just didn't. I, it didn't come with me as I grew up. Mm-hmm. But you were on the WWF for a short time, and I still to this day see clips of you circulating in the most random of places doing that gig. When was that? What was it? How long did it go? It was. Um, it started in January of 1993. And it ended in April of 1983, at least for me. I was one of the original <laughs> hosts of Monday Night Raw. Uh, with Vince McMahon and Macho Man Randy Savage. We were the three. Vince had seen me at a at a charity auction, and he was wearing a three-piece velour peach-colored suit. And I did about 20 minutes on just the suit that night. <laughs> and uh, to make a long story short, he called IMS and uh, asked me if I wanted to be part of this completely live program on the USA Network. And uh, he thought, and it was a decent thought at the time, that uh, somebody who was up on current events and was familiar with doing live stuff on radio could could then, you know, add that little touch of comedy to it. Um, and it went downhill from there. It was just, <laughs> I'm, I'm proud to say one of the top 10 worst wrestling announcers in history. They're not number one yet, but there's still hope. Uh, I, I, one, about once a month, I do another wrestling podcast. Or, People are just discovering, they're going back to see the origins of Raw and of them watch alongs where they play the episode and I comment yeah. about myself. I, you know, and that's not too painful watching myself. Did you did you enjoy it? Were you a wrestling fan? Are you a wrestling fan? I, I wasn't. That was part of the problem is I really didn't have a great knowledge of who it was. And Vince thought, I think at the time that that was going to be beneficial because they all take themselves so seriously. And yeah, and afraid that, you know, if I knew too much about them, I might hold back and whatever. And um, I gotta say, and my son was a wrestling fan, so I took the job thinking that, oh wow, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get great seats at all the, you know, pay per view. <laughs> and um, uh, they were the nicest. I mean, I could not have met better people. I mean, from Randy Savage to Bobby Heenan uh, to Kevin Dunn, who was the producer, and now he's a big, big, big mucky muck in WWE. Um, all of them, you know. I mean, Ric Flair called me sir, you know. Just, <laughs> Um, they were really, really kind, supportive, friendly people. Bobby invited me to his house in Florida. Stay, I got a pool. Um, <laughs> just they could not be nicer, and they they went out of their way to try to help me. You know, you know I mean, Randy would say, "Brother, what do we need? I'm here for you. Just toss it to me, you know." Um, but uh, <laughs> even, even it helped could not keep me from digging the hole deeper and deeper, week by week. <laughs> <laughs> 